Okay, mate. Good man. Buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. In fact, the first video of 2023. So happy new year and all that good stuff. I'm out with Jared. He's about to try and catch a fish while I talk to you. I'm guessing if you watch these videos regularly enough, you'll know I didn't post a video last week. So I'm sorry about that, but I just, I just wanted a week off. I actually didn't have any footage because I hadn't been fishing because of the rain we've had and the rivers that have blown out. Then it kind of came time for me to go home for a few days. So I just kind of ran out of footage and time and that's about the only excuse I've got. So it's gonna to have to do, but yeah, I went home for a few days and just hung out and it was actually kind of nice just not to worry about posting for a week. It's actually the first time in about three and a bit years that I haven't posted every week. That's, that's the first week I've missed. So sorry about that, but we're back. As you can see, it's sunny. It's warm, it's almost like summer. So I thought I'd whip out, have a look around the locals as things drop, just to see how things are looking. Uh, got some guiding coming up, so I'll be spending some time on this river. So I needed to get out and have a look, see what's cracking. So I'm gonna set up my rod. I don't know what I've got actually. Um, super unorganized. Okay, sweet, I got the six weight, I got Popeye. So this is the Helios 3 six weight F in the olive green here. Popeye, you see where I was going with that. On here I've got the Mirage LT size 2 reel uh, in the olive green. And on here, as usual, I've got the Amplitude Infinity Smooth camo line from Scientific Anglers in a six weight. Down to a loop-to-loop -loop connection to my seven foot floating poly leader from Orvis. And I've got a tippet ring on the end of that and then as usual, I build my leader off of that. So basically, I think all I'm really looking for today is just see what the river's looking like. Hopefully I can find a brown trout to fish to, and then just, yeah, have a poke around really, catch up with Jared, enjoy the weather, that kind of stuff. Before I forget, before I go any further, as you may or may not know, I've been using the uh, sunscreen from the So Dope NZ range of sunscreen products, I guess you could say. And they've very kindly given me to give to you a discount code so in the if you look in the description below and i'll put it along here too if you go to so dope nz buy any of their products i think other than the gift pack which is already pretty discounted when you get to the checkout enter the discount code trippin and you'll get i think it's 10 percent or 15 percent off your final purchase price so it's good stuff i've been running it for a few months now and I, i'm well impressed with it i like it so if you uh, need to get some sunscreen stuff and I would recommend that you do. Go there, get some stuff, put that code in, save yourself some money. You're welcome. What are we gonna do? So it looks like I've got about five, six, six and a bit feet of 3X. So what I'm gonna do is replace the 4X at the bottom with probably about four feet of 4X. Be a little bit kind of stealthy today. So that's about three. We'll go another foot and a bit four just to make sure. Clip that off there and then we're gonna blood knot that to the 3X. We did see a brown on the way down. That's kind of what I'm setting up for. And then as the day goes by, I'll probably chop and change or just grab Jared's rod. All right, let's start off with a size. Ooh, let's go for a size six. Oh, I wonder what I'm gonna use. I topped up my fly box the other day and I threw in some size 16 south sides from cat three really like this fly it's this guy right here i don't know if you can see that very well but yeah size 16 south side cat three black tungsten bead and just looks good it's caught me a lot of fish already in the small amount of fishing i've done so far this season it's caught me quite a lot of my fish so it works double davy that onto the forex crush the barb because it's new and we're good to go all right let's go find a fish See if I can remember how to fish. It's been weeks. All right, it's pretty 
good looking water kind of hard to see into i can see a brown up here on the inside i'm gonna have a go for uh, looks a bit skinny but we'll give it a go just try and you know, use it more as a target practice for something to fish at and i haven't fished for a couple of weeks so it actually feels like i can't fish anymore i don't really remember how to do it you know but that's good looking water downstream breeze it's actually not bad it's pretty good pretty good pretty good hmm All right, little gray thing, size 16, good cast. What the hell? I haven't seen it move once yet. That's good, right in the mouth. Hmm, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Size 14 soft tackle. Tiny bit of split shot. Teeny tiny. That's pretty good. I think he looked at that, too far out, not bad, bit down his inside, but pretty good, that's good, not bad, see it, got him. Buddy, I'm out of that flow. Trying to get him out of that flow into this softer stuff. <sighs> nice. All right, wicked. First brown out of here of the summer, so. Sweet as, that's cool. So, um, ended up taking that little soft tackle I added. Uh, I just had to work it and work it and work it. Eventually got the right drift or, you know, she felt like throwing me a bone and she ate it. Long fish, a little bit skinny. She can just put some weight on, which hopefully she will. And yeah, she'll be a great fish. And let me show you what she ate. She ate this little, it's a size 16 unweighted pheasant tail from um, NZ Fishing Flies. The pheasant tail soft tackle great fly you should definitely have a few of those in your box just for tricky fish that kind of stuff uh look like jared was actually hooked up when i hooked that brown but it was only like a, a little little tacker good stuff There we go. That'll do it, maybe. That's 
perfect, it's right about there somewhere. Something else at the back, there we go. Nice. Right at the back, only a little guy. Oh, there goes the rest of them. Oh, there's like four or five in there. Oh, long range release. <laughs> I'm just gonna fish this little bit here. I can't, just because I can't see, that well, I need the sand to be a little bit higher, but it is a cool piece of water. And I feel like it will definitely hold fish at some point. There's one. <laughs> and I was right. Cool. What a cool piece of water. I don't know where Jared's gone. Just a little rainbow. I'll try and make this quick. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. There we go. Nice. Cool little fish. How did Jared go? Hey bro, where are you? I'm just going where we crossed the first time, where are you? Uh, not far from there actually. Oh, okay. I was waiting for you up there. Oh, <laughs> I just thought you were going to follow me up. I was like, over here. Oh, you're on that side. Oh, okay. I just caught a fish yeah. from here. It's a real cool piece of water. I'll just, I'll just bang a couple more through and then I'll try to do that crossing. Yeah, no worries, it's all right. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Oh, it's a weird drift. We further out. Oh, it's coming over, coming over, coming over. Yep, got him. Oh, it's a brown too. Sweet, a brown that actually moved to eat a fly? That's crazy. Just saw his mouth go. Lift forward, elevated, mouth went, dry fly didn't even move. Nice. Well, that was easier than usual. <laughs> That's a nicer fish, yeah. Long and skinny that way. Yeah. Better condition than the other one I got though. But and yeah. the fact she the fact she actually moved to eat. That is that's a really good fish. Really nice man. Happy mm -hmm. with him. Her even. Y'all ready? Oh, it's, that was pretty cool. I actually didn't expect that fish to move, let alone, well, I didn't expect it to look at the fly, let alone move, elevate, and eat it, but I ate this little uh, here in copper. No, hang on, what is this? Uh, Pheasant tail flashback. With a bit of flash in it. Yeah, a little bit of flash in it. Anyway, this thing, I think it's an NZ fishing fly's jobby, but uh, yeah, one good cast, and the fish came forward, elevated, saw the mouth go. Dry fly didn't move, so if you see the fish move and the mouth go, Sometimes it pays just to strike. Just relocating, but doing it casually. Getting a uh, coffee from the coffee cart over there. Move a bit further upstream, check out another spot, and then just keep moving our way upstream over the course of the afternoon and just kind of just check out different sections of the river and see, see what kind of shape it's in, see what kind of fish we see, that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, and then by the end of the day, we should have a pretty good idea of what things are looking like in here as of now. Get a fish as well. Thanks, man. All right. Maybe you should have the fish. <laughs> now you'll catch a fish today. That's about, oh. the, that's about the size of that last one I caught. Yeah, that's nice. Blue duck. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh, sweet. There you go. Oh, 
All right, so I was filming a blue duck and I turned around and Jared hooked up, but then lost the fish and it turns out uh, just bust off close to the hook. So maybe I should listen to my own advice and have checked the rig because I caught that brown on that rig last and I just gave it back to him. <laughs> didn't bother checking it, he didn't bother checking it. No one checked it, lost the fish. Check your rigs, people, check your knots, check for damage because it might cost you a fish. Oh, and that was a barber's hook, so another good reason for fishing barbless or crushing your barbs or both Nice work, chat. Small but pretty. Real pretty. Cheers, bro. Cheers, brother. <laughs> nice one. Nice, mate. Yeah. All right, I can see a fish. Hmm. Where do you go, son? Oh, I see you. Into the, uh, into the zone now. Got him. Cheeky. Well, that was worth stopping for. Little rainbow. Oof. Oof. Alrighty, chap. Come on in. Just as well you're not a big fish because I would not be able to handle you. Gotcha. Nice. Dude. Dude, dude, dude. There we go. There we go. I'm going to get you straight back. See you, buddy. And he ate this guy. Little, uh, size 14 flashback pheasant tail from category 3 flies so this is going to be our last piece of water for the day Jared's going to boost down there, fish up the tail. I'm going to jump in here, fish up the head. Maybe we can put out a fish or two, finish off the day.
All right, we fished this piece of water pretty well between us, I think, and just didn't even turn up anything. So defeated at the last piece of water, but hey, it's all good. Pretty sure, pretty sure we're going to call it a day now. I mean, it's half past four. I mean, we could fish longer, but we had a good day. Of course, fish. How you doing? I'm pretty much done. I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. We're done. We're done. Beer time. Beer time. Ooh. First one back of the new year. Caught a couple of browns. You lost a brown. Caught some rainbows. Beautiful day. Just like summer. Wet waiting. Can't complain, really. So, we're going to uh, get out of here. Drive home. Sort our lives out. Are we fishing tomorrow? Yeah, might well. We'll go fishing tomorrow, too. Hopefully, we'll see you next week. Well, if we catch some fish, we'll definitely see you next week for tomorrow's video. Good to see you guys. Hope you had a great new year. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment in the comment section below and all that good stuff. Have a great weekend. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.